Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Riot X, and today we have a fun little new subscription box unboxing. This is my first one, and this is from Ricky's Cult Crushes. Now, if you don't know what Ricky's is, and I'm reading from the website, an edgy ultra hip beauty shop. So they sell hair care, nail care, private labels, fashion, cosmetics, and novelties. Ricky's NYC has been part of New York's urban chic culture for over two decades since 1989. From style conscious teenagers and their suburbanite moms to Hollywood celebrities and their professional stylists, Ricky's NYC plays host to a diverse cult-like following of clientele. I've heard about this box and I've seen a few unboxings from another YouTuber on here. I haven't seen many people do it, but I'm pretty sure this is like an $11 subscription. So I thought it was pretty reasonable and worth a shot. So we're just gonna get right into it. So it just comes with a card, tells me what's in it, and I don't look until I have to. All right, the first thing I see is from oh, Lip Bang's Lip Freak Buzzing Lip Balm. And I've actually tried this before, and it actually makes your lips buzz. Like, it feels like your lips are vibrating really fast. I don't know how or why they do it, but it's weird. And I probably won't use this because I didn't love the way it felt the first time I tried it. Oh, that sucks. Okay, it doesn't tell you the retail value, which is kind of a bummer. But that's all right, we're just gonna keep going. This is, but I, from what I remember, I wanna say this is around like four or five bucks. Ooh, the next thing I see is from House of Lashes, and that's a very popular lash brand. And these are the Bombshell Lashes. House of Lashes are hand cut to be perfectly long and luscious to enhance any of your looks. Hand woven with different levels of thickness, you'll be turning heads all Hallow's Eve. I usually don't stray from my normal ones, but it's always nice to have extra lashes, cool. Ooh, I've heard actually rave reviews about this particular product from Nikki Tutorials. This is the Makeup Bullet, and it's the High Def Cosmetic Finger Sponge. And I'm pretty sure this itself retails for $15, if memory serves. I'm pretty sure Ulta has it. This is what it is, and it's basically a beauty blender for your finger. So place spun on, spun, place sponge on finger, ringer or, God. Ring or middle is best. Mist sponge with water or setting spray, but for best results, do not wet the entire sponge. Happily apply makeup flawlessly, then take a selfie. Okay. Um, so I will definitely try this. I'm very loyal to my Artiste oil brush, but I'll give this a shot, why the hell not? Oh, oh the next is by a brand that I love. This is by Comadines, and this is the Makeup Remover Micellar Solution for Normal Skin. I've used this brand for a while, although I haven't seen any of their stuff in a while, so I'm very happy to have this. This is the Comadines Makeup Remover Pads are perfect for any skin type. These natural fiber cloths quickly remove even waterproof makeup without leaving raw skin raw or oily. I really do know how to read and talk, but for some reason when I'm on camera, I like all of my words. All right, the last thing in here is by LA Splash Cosmetics. And again, I think that's kind of a pricey brand too. This is the Wickedly, what's wrong with me? Wickedly Divine Liquid Lip Gloss. All right, wait, Liquid Lip Gloss. Yeah, that's weird, okay. This is their silkiest formula yet. This new lip line is so light and comfortable you won't notice your immersion into the darkness, okay. This is the color Kiss of Death, that's fun. Oh, stop it, look how cute that is. You win for packaging alone. Kiss of death. It's like a real deep reddish brownish purple. <coughs> Are you okay? Why do you keep coughing? <coughs> um, so that's pretty cool. And again, I think this is a pretty price. I wanna say this was probably retails at least $15. So that's pretty cool for 11 bucks. I mean, besides the chapstick, which I just don't like the way it makes me, don't like the way it makes me feel. I don't like the way it makes my lips feel, so I probably won't use it, I'll just pass it on. But the rest of the stuff I'll definitely use. So for 11 bucks, score. So that was it. And actually, you know what? I'm wondering. So I have my lip monthly box that I get that's around the same price. Should I do a battle of the boxes every month against those two box, this box and that box? Or should I just do keep them separately? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And also, please keep an eye out because the day after Halloween, I'll be announcing my end of the year what is wrong with me? I'll be announcing my end of the year giveaway that will be an annual thing now. At the end of every year, I will be doing a giveaway of, it's basically gonna be a bunch of my favorite things. One person will win, so make sure you're a subscriber, you hit the notification bell, and keep an eye out for it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.